Hi, I'm Janice Switlow. Um, there's been talk regarding the uh, Wasuetan situation, the uh, responses in support of them uh, might attract the attention or the, the, the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is hoping that uh, the American President will step in and assist. Um, and what they might be thinking about or referring to is NATO, for example, right? The North American, the, sorry, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Uh, that was set up in 1949. There's 13 countries signed into it, including Britain and the USA, and Canada as a member. Um, the most important aspect of the treaty was the clause that stated that an attack on one member would be taken to be an attack on all of the members. So that would require in such a situation for the other members of NATO to step in to protect, for instance, Canada. Now, why would Canada have a problem with that? <laughs> for Canada to suggest it's under attack would be to suggest that there is a foreign country attacking it. Canada uh, would prefer that this situation be considered civil uh, uh, unrest, which means a domestic internal matter. When it's a domestic internal matter, other UN member uh, states cannot interfere. Uh, it's not an international issue. It's an internal uh, issue subject to the territorial integrity of that particular UN member state. And remember, Canada is a member uh, of the UN. So to suggest that uh, the U.S. would be turned to as an ally to step in to help with the current situation uh, because economically it's uh, impacting the Americans as well as Canadians and Canadian business and interest, etc., um, would be to suggest that indeed Indigenous nations exist uh, and that they're, they're actually uh, attacking. Um, but if, if it, so Canada's not going to want to do that. That's not an admission they're going to make to say and recognize Indigenous nations are attacking us, please help. It's not going to happen. Canada hangs its hat on trying to ferment and, and prove that um, at some point they were assimilated, came under, were you know, putting the bow on the package of reconciliation, but, you know, at, in BC, for instance, at point of contact, 1846, you know, no more sovereignty, no more uh, standalone nation, that sort of thing. So I just wanted to comment on that because two different situations can arise. Um, and I'll speak in the next one and, and deal with, you know, the Security Council because that's another aspect of this matter that uh, bears us a little bit of discussion with. And that's all I have to say.